Graham, I have an assignment for you. Why can't two of us do it? He's off buying knives for a scheme we're doing. Hey janitor, I'll give you 20 fat stacks of $1 greenbacks if you buy me a buttload of knives. I am not a janitor, I am Senior Bick. Okay, Senior Bick, can you buy me a buttload of knives? I'll do it if you deliver a message to Graham for me. In song. Okay. I wrote it myself. Yeah, I really need that buttload of knives though. Yeah, okay, okay, here it is. Time is changing. The poor get fat. Steven's gonna catch ya. The senior pick is back. Yeah, you didn't write that. I wrote three of the verses. Yeah, I'm sure it's going great. Okay, fine, what's the assignment? I just need you to change the order we got with our meat guy. Meat guy? His name's Mac, and every week he sends us 200 pounds of beef, and we send him a check for $40 and a coupon for a round of free bowling at Johnny's. No, I mean, why do you have a meat guy? Well, I set up this fake meat company that I could launder money through so I can finance Minimal Isaac's gambling addiction. Well, if you're running a money laundering scheme, why do you need the meat? We sell it and use the profits for gambling and more meat? That's not a money laundering scheme, that's a restaurant. Yeah, I can't believe the SEC hasn't caught up to us yet. Anyway, I want you to talk to Mac and see what options he has for a cheaper meat. Like horse meat? <laughs> well, I didn't say horse meat, I said cheaper meat. Okay. That's a buttload of knives. He's back. A classic from Sir Elton John. This is Lucille with some news. A local man has been rushed to the hospital after accidentally stabbing himself in the face with what first responders can only describe as a buttload of knives. More on the story as it continues. You must be Mac. We're in the middle of a dust bowl. Got these sprinklers in the grass. It turns all the dust into mud. I'm not my sprinklers. I would never own these sprinklers because I hate them. Oh, I hate them. Do I have the right person? Are uh, you Mac? Oh, to be sure, if your meat is dirty, it's not my fault, it's because of the mud. It's because of the darn ed mud. Right, well, Isaac wants horse meat instead of whatever he's getting now, so I'll just leave you to do that, and, uh... What's going on here? Patrick, I thought the movie was on Friday. Hello, Graham. I'm here to help Chad with the scheme. I can't tell you what it is, but it involves a buttload of knives. Yeah, we had a little minor setback with some accidental stabbage, but we're all patched up and ready to go. Alright, well, I gotta go talk to Isaac real quick. Don't come back, because we won't miss you. I will. Je vais, Graham. Je vais. I talked to the meat guy, and your horse meat should be arriving shortly. Graham, I told you not to get horse meat. I thought you were being sly. We've been selling horse meat for the last five months. Get some meat that's cheaper than horse meat, all right? <laughs> Look, Mac, I don't need your crap right now, all right? I just need your cheapest meat, whatever it is. I don't care. I have 50 acres in Wisconsin, you know. And up in Wisconsin, they have this delicious meat. It's basically brat intestines. I can get you some of that if you want. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Mac. Nice thinking. Maybe you could've used that big brain of yours last time. You could've told me that Isaac was already buying horse meat. Did I ever tell you about the dust bowl? You're mad. You're mad. You're out of your bloody gourd. <laughs> what kind of a scheme is this? This isn't a scheme, it's a bloodbath. Graham, I wouldn't have done this scheme if I had known that it involved me dying. Uh, are you gonna see the new It movie on Friday? I hope they don't have the funeral then. Might have to skip it. That was a successful scheme.